a strong economic position. That's the claim the Trump White House made amid an intensifying trade war turned currency dispute between the United States and China. America is open for business. America is open for business. It's been a week of back and forth between the world's two largest economies. On Monday, the U.S. Treasury accused China of currency manipulation following a sharp drop in the U.N. against the American dollar, fulfilling a campaign promise made by U.S. President Donald Trump. The drop comes following more U.S. tariffs on Chinese goods last week, 10% on 300 billion products effective September 1st. China retaliated, announcing its state-run companies would stop buying U.S. agricultural products, inflicting further strain on U.S. farmers. But on Twitter, President Trump argued the U.S. is benefiting from the economic tit-for-tat. Massive amounts of money from China and other parts of the world is pouring into the United States. Companies are also coming to the U.S. in big numbers. This is a transformative president who is going in many places where prior presidents in both parties have feared to tread. And I think part of that has to be trade. But the trade war has hurt American farmers. Already, the U.S. government has put in place two aid packages to compensate for the billions in lost sales for products like soybeans and pork to China. We hope to see fewer acts like this, which serves no one's interest. We also hope the U.S. sticks to the facts and solves the U.S.-China economic and trade issue more rationally and practically, rather than move further along a wrong path. The White House says it's still working with China to negotiate what it calls the right deal. It expects more talks with Beijing in September. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, the White House.